I kind of felt like doing a Let's Play, and this is one of my uh, first reviews ever was for Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And it was a, it's always been a favorite game of mine, even though it is an LJN title. And we all know how certain people feel about the uh, laughing, uh, joking numbnuts there. <laughs> I uh, always like this game. I think it's their best uh, game ever made. So let's start it. I haven't done a Let's Play for a while and gotten to talk in front of uh, the camera live on scene at the same time. But uh, I was always, um, it was always unfortunate for me that this game, oh I hate that thing. <laughs> When I did this originally, I didn't know what my settings should be on the cameras and such, and I had a different camera back then. And this is a little too loud for my liking. Let's uh, turn it down a little bit. Alright, that sounds better. Uh, whenever I change screens, uh, the uh, CRT settings were set too high, and the camera wasn't uh, set correctly either so uh, anytime I switch screens the change from black there has the black screen for a quarter of a second and that would destroy everything and even the overall game like this didn't look right it was too bright and stuff like that uh, the review itself I find wonderful still but uh, what can I do with a brick can I um I don't think I can no, it only goes that way. But uh, I like this game because it's a pseudo-adventure game, but it's very different. It speaks to a console. It's not like a computer adventure game, and consoles rarely had adventure games. So we have this very unique game. And uh, you just start off by going through the various different buildings and asking these people inside of them uh, if they can help you and then they will say, oh the building's empty, don't bother with it. So we are searching, it's an item collecting game, we're trying to find some stuff. And all of these original buildings right next to Eddie's office are empty, except I don't think I found out about this one. We can ask these people, but they don't always know. Okay, she knows. She's good. Oh, great. The people are here. The weasels! Run away from the weasels, and then you can come back. This is the store. We can use that crowbar for lots of things. Okay, so... At the store, you can buy some junk. It's always the same in my version. Um, there are other revisions out there. I think the early revisions, every time you exit the building and come back into the building, there is another another item. So <laughs> you can definitely cheat with that, but this one will only give you uh, the one item, you know, uh, like one, one per, I don't know, it, there's a timer on it. The whistle is nice because then we can call Benny the Cab and get his ass over here. No, we can't. Why can't I call? There we go. <laughs> Benny! And then you just continue your searches. <laughs> Another building empty. I actually really wanted to um, do the Amiga version of this again. I only, it was only like a 10 minute review. I put them together because there was just, there was nothing there. Okay, I got a rattle. Is there anything else in here? No. Where are you? Where are you? Die. They don't really die though. <clears throat> This is the Ink and Paint Club, I believe. And we cannot get in there yet. What's the password? 
I don't know! Yeah, that's a very cheesy line there. But we found some goodies. I wanted to do the Amiga version, but um, it, it's hard at the end. So is this one, but I've already beaten this one many times, so <laughs> I can I can handle this hard. I never quite figured out the Amiga Roger Rabbit how to beat that one, and it's so short of a game. Anything in here? No. Oh, we can use that too. Empty building. Crowbar, mm. anything else in here? No. I did want to give the Amiga version another shot. I just, uh... Didn't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> oh, we got some elevator shoes. Empty. All of this, I'm. It's gonna be a quick game, I think. Ah! Would you die? Thank you. All right, let's let's go down a little bit. I love, I just love the um, car riding scenes, even though Benny's fat ass, well, I guess it's not Benny's fault, it's them, they, they drive, they all drive in the middle of the fucking road. Anything in here? Ow! Anything else in here? There's more here! It's on the outside, probably not. We'll check the corner just to be safe, because there could be some kind of rabbit animal over here. Negative, it's in the inside! A detonator! We got all kinds of fun stuff here. <laughs> I'm getting very lucky with all, all the drops so far, though. They've all been. Oh no. It won't let me exit, which only means that a bastard weasel is here. Well, Roger hasn't uh, ran yet. There he is. Oh, there's always a trick to this. <laughs> you gotta wait till your strength meter goes up, so you can keep pressing the B button and... Ow, oh, no! I hate when that happens. You kind of hug the uh, top of the building so you can line yourself up with them a little bit. And, uh, yeah, two hits and he's gone. Rather simple. Oh my god, would you people go away? We're just fucking here. Did I go on this one? I can't remember. There's something here. Anything could be where the thing is, but it's usually on the corners in a drawer I'm not sure if it just if it's supposed to be in the room if you can find it in anything I can't remember oh there's a flashlight what else you got anything there's some more I think like once you search like one thing in the room it's fine so you don't have to keep Searching the flower pots, for example. Did I already use you? Probably. I bet you it's on the outside, the next one. Uh, 
Wait, I think I saw something. A bomb! Bomb doesn't actually have any real use, actually. Alright, now what? I'm looking for the second shop. I think this is the one. But first we will check the outside. And we found a brick. Again, a brick doesn't really do anything. It's just a... You won't actually use it until the end a little bit. The crowbar has uses there. The crowbar will take off a lock and let you in. Okay, we got some dynamite to go with the detonator. And now we can get ourselves into Toontown if we want. And, uh, yay. Drive away from the weasels and come back. Now, what we need to do... Did I already do this? Are you the shop? Oh, no! They get annoying. <clears throat> no, this is not the store. What do you got for me? Empty. If we want to get in there, we just go like that. And we can go into Toon Town, but we'll save that for later. Can somebody help me? Don't mind me, I'm just coming to a search of drawers. It's a world that doesn't make all that much sense, the animals and stuff. I think we have all of the uh, food items needed in case uh, any animals are guarding anything. He just said they were empty, right? I wasn't actually paying any attention. I think he said, empty! Yes! Why are you fuckers back? Anything else in here? There is, there is, there is. Some more cheese. All right, that building's done. They, I like this. It's like a detective. Adventure, find some items. The Gag Factory. I, I, I completely read that incorrectly. <laughs> I was thinking of a different gag. Oh, oh man. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think that's what it's called in the film, but. <laughs> gag Factory. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking dirty. Dirty gags. <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> What's in here? Anything? Well, I know there's at least one thing in here we need. If we can find her... There she is! You recognize her? Um, search the drawers in the building, so it's like, anybody that gives you different dialogue when you first meet them is actually somebody special, so this is, um, I always forget her name, but, uh, he's, she is Eddie's, like, love interest or whatever. They went to Catalina or whatever together and stuff like that, she's the bar, bar wench. Um, so you can give her, what do you give, the, your love interest, you give her a heart. And then you can try asking her another question. Look for the wheel in a cave above the top tunnel. So, uh, we have that. 
I would still like to search everything because I would like to get into all the clubs and such just to show you, you know, like what Jessica Rabbit has to say and all that jazz. this one, right? If it's right next to the tunnel, I'm sure I tried it. But apparently I didn't. Another cheese, huh? Anything else? No. Another whistle for Benny, although we missed it. Is that bastard cat? You can do terrible things in this game, by the way. I will show one of them off. <laughs> this is awful. It's a video game character, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Boom! I can't believe they let you do that. It's not that I'm a horde man, it's that I'm a horrid gamer. Maroon Cartoons. This is... The Gag Factory in Maroon Cartoons is a place where the will is often hidden. That is not the will. That is uh, the password to the Ink and Paint Club. The cats want fish bones, so we give them... The, there we go. So now we can get into the Ink and Paint Club, which we will do after... Uh, we go outside, so after we search for the will in the cave above the top tunnel. Anything in here? I figured as much. I'll try the outside first. <clears throat> Anything else? Cool. I think that's everything. I think that's... Most of LA there. God damn it. You can use the weasels to your advantage when you're driving because everything speeds up. Now we go for the luxurious scenic ride to the valley. I really, I just always love driving in this game. It's very just relaxing. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Boom! Ow! Well, it had to come sometime. What tuba can't you play? A tap on the head? No. Spelling? No. He would look stupid? No. A tuba <laughs> Tuba toothpaste? <laughs> you just gotta answer their stupid up. Uh, whoa! Oh, shit! That was not fair! Bullshit! Fuck you! I'm not. I, I, I call that bullshit. I should not have died there. How dare you put me in the middle of the fucking road to be flattened to a pancake? And the assholes are back. Taking the beach! Good music in this game, too. LJN usually did good music uh, for their games. I have to give them that, even if... Uh, everybody, everybody should give them that, even if you don't like their games. Um, I don't consider their games actually bad at all. If a truly bad game, you can't talk about it. It's just awful. You can't... There's nothing to say about an awful game. You don't want to play it, so you don't. You just don't play it. It's 
bad. Why would you play a bad game? Uh, it's only games that are somewhat good. Do I have a rattle, though? I forget. I can't actually do anything without a rattle. What is that? No, meat. Oh, I do, I do. Cool. We're gonna have to go back to town just to get a rattle. I should have stopped at the uh, store. Okay. The rest we have to search by foot. Hopefully there's none in the middle area there. I just remember there's one down here. And it's not you. Dang it. Now where are the other ones? This is going to be a problem. Because I don't remember where the other ones are. One. All right, there it is. What do you have to say if I don't uh, actually give you anything? Yes, my tail doesn't work. Let's uh, turn the lights on and use our elevator shoes, our spring shoes. Whee! And before he kills us, we will give him a rattle. We can take the will, and we can actually ask him, since he has a rattle, he'll, he's nice to us now, so... Look for the will in a building by Doom's warehouse. I don't think I ever stuck around this long to hear this uh, tune. Oh, this is cool. It's like jazzy. I've never heard this. I've played this game for years. Never heard this song. doing these videos is good for me too. <laughs> I like that. I really like that too. But I digress. We'll, we'll leave. <laughs> now we head to Toontown. Oh! God damn it. Benny, get over here. Benny? Benny? Oh, at least they're stuck over there. So we can head directly to Toontown now. Another peaceful, scenic ride. like the first kind of NES game where, damn it, <laughs> why did the tune throw his watch out the window? Because it has two banks now. Intruder window? Why did the tune throw his watch out the window? Intruder, maybe that. He, he wanted to see time fly. There we go. <clears throat> I always pause because you're, uh, you don't get enough time to uh, answer those, and the more you actually encounter them and answer the questions, the more questions are added to it all, so it becomes very, um, very awful at the end. Just in case, might as well get one of these. God damn it. Don't bother me anymore, you bastards. Let's go to the other store. Alright, we got those. You always want to, like, park him in an angled spot, because if you park him like that, uh, he'll go for a ride the next time any car comes by. What I love most about Toontown is the fact that you can drive on the side of the road on the grass 
And the bastards won't hurt you. the will first, and then we'll come back and uh, party up the, the uh, places, I think. I get the feeling we're probably going to run into a few of them accidentally, so we'll wait. cheerful music for being so near to doom. The only place you can actually find out if there's anything in a building is uh, on the inside or outside of the building, depending on what animals are there, or if there are people. Corky here might help us, but he can't. Because the uh, inhabitants of any room in Toontown are actually, um, you know, weird tunes, and they don't actually talk to you, so... And that won't help you at all. And the building is empty, so we can leave, thank God. That is Judge Doom's hangout right there. Did they say a house, or did they say a cave? I don't know if there are caves over here. There might be. This is the end game, though. We can't do anything here right now. He needs a baseball, I think. I don't think we have a baseball. No baseballs. As a kid, I used to try to, like, jump up this with the shoes. Like, like why is there a box there? Why is there a ladder there? We must be able to get in somehow. It took a while to figure out uh, the baseball trick for the uh, dude with the bat. Empty building! There is a hidden thing up there, which I will show you near the end, I guess? I don't know. It depends on how much shit I have. All that, just to find out the damn thing was empty. Okay. I must be missing something. There must indeed be a cave over here somewhere. Well, I know where there is a, a hidden area, but I don't recall a cave. Oh, what do you assholes want? Oh, shit! Once again, Bullshit. Bullshit. God damn it! Get out of the way! In 
the magical building, we can get unlimited items. Not that they will, will, will really help us for the most part. Uh, the only things that will really help us is things like the heart. Because we can get all our information uh, from a girlfriend there. And these things, too, in case we run across any animals that uh, need it. But we might as well stock up while we are here. That's all of them. Oh my god, it's here again! If they just took down the frequency of this fucker, you know... I think the game would be much more liked. This is fucking annoying! Well, if he ain't over here, where the hell is he? We've got something here! I think the Will would just be hanging out in some, uh, cartoon's house. They do have the best furniture, though. Like, oh, yep! It's hanging out in this rat's house! That's interesting. Is there anything else here? God damn it, get away from me. So we have a second part of the Will. And the building is empty. Do we have a rose by any chance? We are close. We're getting there. of cake, which will do us no good. But to get it, we'll probably have to die! Shit, why did I do that? Another cake. I really don't like these things. Big building here. Anything hiding? No! Fucking assholes! That's what I'm talking about. If I just search these buildings, you're liable to come across crap you don't really want to come across yet. <laughs> I'm liable to fucking die before I get to the end. Let's uh, try searching. Oh, another. Okay. Custard pie. It's a custard pie. Do I sit here and ask all these people again? This is like. It's like just like a computer adventure game, actually, because you just sit around forever. Waiting for something to happen. <laughs> it's empty. Thank God we found out. Uh, 
Anything over there? Oh, yes, there is. There's something over there. I can barely see it, though. Um, you want meat. Stay away from me. It's a gun! <laughs> it, it's, so, it's of no real use to us, though. We can use it a tiny bit on the final boss, but, you know, not really. Okay, we got the baseball. What else you got? Anything? Good. So now we can get into uh, Doom's place now, if we feel like it. You really gotta search all the buildings, so just, you know, for those special items that you uh, need for certain areas. tunes hate us so much, you know? We're trying to, you know, give you your freedom here. We're trying to find Marvin Acme's will, which is gonna leave everything to you tunes. And you guys are not being very appreciative of that uh, whole uh, endeavor, are you? God damn it. Fuck you! Ooh, we got a portable hole, which will do us no good. one. You're getting old, guys. Same old questions now. I think we already checked all these. Crab is in a very bad spot. He'll knock us down if we get if he gets near us. In a portable hole. for it, really, but, you know, why not? Alright. Done with this section, I think. be 
Baby Herman's place. But I don't think we have a cigar. We can't talk to Baby Herman without a cigar. It's an empty building anyway, but... Let's see if he's in here. Not there. There he is. Don't you do when you have the will. So he says something different, so... Can I punch him? I want to punch him. Damn it, he's too small. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> empty. It's all empty. It's down here. Speaking of cigars... What else is in here? Boxing gun? Oh, I think that's one of the better, um... Attacking items for the final fight, actually. Mostly it's just your fist, but... That's one of the ones that isn't completely useless, I think. Come on! that was fuck you you son of a what is this what is this why is he standing there why are there two fucking rats I hate you I'm gonna die a bunch of fucking mis I haven't died fair once yet Finally, one of you assholes actually answers me on the first attempt. Alright, I think we are now officially done with Toontown. Unless we want to give Baby Herman the cigar, do we want to do that? Or do we want to uh, wait and give it to one of our chicks? We could do it, why not? Take your cigar and give me my will coordinates. A cave around LA. So we actually are going to experience the full game. Go back to LA. See if the store has anything for us though first. Nothing in that one. I'm hoping it has a flower in it. Just so I can show you guys. Oh my god! It's one of those things, like, you know it instantly, once it's happening, because it won't let you exit or enter a building. So, it's like, you instantly know that you have to deal with this fucker, and, uh, it's not fun. It would be alright if it was just severely, the frequency of it was just severely limited. It would be fine, but, no, it's just, it's too much, it's too much. Get over here. I don't need a crowbar, I need a flower! Oh well, I don't got a flower, we don't need the flower anyways, but we can show you 
you know, how to get in here. If we hold the password in front of the uh, monkey suit guy... Okay, come in. Thanks, like the monkey suit, smart aleck. Come on, just go for the gold. It's smart ass. Go for it. Go for it. I don't have a flower, right? No flower in there? a wallet. That makes sense for her. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Find my phone number and give me a call. And that's the infamous, you know, LJN telephone hotline, which should be here. Which... I think Nintendo bought it up recently because <laughs> uh, because um, the AVGN noted how that is a sex hotline now. <laughs> I think Nintendo went ahead and bit the bullet and just bought that number, and I don't think it does anything now. But <laughs> now let's find this cave. I remember there's a cave over here somewhere. And one to... There's one to the right, one to the left. Oh, God. I hate you. Okay. No, no. Not down there. Here's one. longer ones, too. Is he over here? Well, he is, but that ain't the dude I want. Fuck him! Get out of my way. Okay, where are the rest of the caves? I think there's one on the uh, west side of town as well. Any flowers by any chance? <laughs> Alright. It should be over here somewhere. Maybe not over here, exactly. Oh god, no! He's gonna kill me, you son of a bitch! I hate that fucking snake! All deaths so far have been bullshit. All of them have been absolute horse shit. Kill them, will you? Please kill them. Please kill them now. What? Am I out of them? I think I'm out of them. I'm out of them. Shit. Benny, I've lost you. I'm out of whistles. Another cave. There's one. Alright, we've done it. We can find the crap that I can never seem to find. now. I am so pissed off. And I don't have a whistle to get Benny back. Time to win, I think, hopefully. I don't think, we don't have all the, we never got all the items, but, 
The rest of them were store bound. And we didn't happen to hang around the stores long enough, so too bad. I guess I kind of start. I'm starting to understand why maybe people are tempted not to like it when they have it. When you're playing this game, you have the uh, camera on and you're recording it, and there's just so much nothing going on while you wait for the people to tell you if you can search a building or what. You know, it's. And these things, like, it's like getting out of your, getting out of the cab so you can, you know, ditch these guys. It's like, there's a lot of these little tiny moments that just suck up time, which does not matter at all. When you're actually playing the game normally, this is stuff that shouldn't bother anybody. But uh, it would bother somebody trying to make a video, I think, so luckily I am able to uh, note these things in my mind and not hate games because of it. Let's go to Judge Doom's warehouse. Let's get the baseball for this guy and uh, get him out of the way. Get over there. And now, for legitimately one of the hardest and longest um, boss fights in the history of video games. Come on. Pick the cigar. You know you want it. God damn it. You all suck. Alright, I hit him. I hit him. I saw the score go out the other fucking side. <laughs> you see how little it actually moves over the hit counter when you do that shit? It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. It's useless. It's, it's useless. This is all useless. I'm wasting my time throwing bricks at this guy. At least it goes faster. You can have a little fun with it, I guess. Bomb? You want some bombs? Take a bomb. God, I hate you. It works, kind of! Ha <laughs> You suck! <laughs> the bomb was kind of fun to use. Uh, it doesn't really... It doesn't really work, so... It works like the bomb, if he comes near it. This is how you're supposed to beat him. With pure brute strength. And you gotta, you gotta, gotta, you gotta kinda like hit him twice. I got him twice there, that's good. There is a trick to get him against the wall and just like keep hammering him over and over and over again, but... You know, I'm not the greatest at that. I can, I can kind of do them the twice thing. As long as you hit them twice, you should be in good hands. You can sometimes get away with hitting them once there, but if he hits you, again, like, he will, he'll undo it all, pretty much, so. Really gotta try, not, well, that's not a, I don't think that was a full hit. His fist is the one that really does the damage against you. No! No! You suck! And just like that, we are tied, so... I spent five minutes doing that, and we're tied. And now he's ahead, so this is, this is what happens. <laughs> it really, really sucks. It really, truly sucks. It's a horrible, horribly difficult boss battle. And I don't got any turbo controllers, too. This is a uh, standard, lovely, beautiful um, NES controller that I am dealing with here. And this isn't even the worst part of it. It's once you get them down, you gotta get that dip cannon thing. And um, it's very easy to die in one hit right there if you don't do it the correct way, which... I know I didn't do it the correct way that first couple times, so... <laughs> this music scared the crap out of me as a kid. It's a very... it's, it's actually... it's pretty frightening uh, music for a kid to listen to for the final boss battle. Don't worry, guys! I'm sure to save you in another 10-15 minutes or so. 
Fuck you, you son of a... Oh! You ain't gonna win this one. I'm fucking pissed off. I hate this boss battle. Come on, let me get him close. Get away from me. Fuck you. I hate you. Oh, I hate you! Oh, I almost got it! I almost got him in the freaking wall! Shit! Ooh, I got four of them on him that time. No, you don't. God, how many more hits? I swear he has such an advantage over you. It's ridiculous. How did you survive that? How in the hell are you surviving this stuff? This is ridiculous. You should be dead already. You should be dead. Why are you still alive? I, I hate the fact that I've done all of this work, and with one or two hits, he could still kill me. So we grab the death cannon, and if we are lucky, we won't die here, but we will probably die, because I know this game. It's not just taste, it is hard. This is one of the hardest boss battles ever. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no! So close. No! Fuck you! Again, this is just... It's random. I don't know how to always get this. You watch people do this online and they just get it. They get it. I don't get that. I don't fucking understand how... How? 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 I don't fucking understand it! Like, it doesn't make any sense! I've beaten this before! I don't get it! Every time you see somebody online do this boss battle, they never have any problem with the dip cannon. I, I don't get it! Why the hell do they never fail with the dip cannon? It's just, if he hits you once, you are dead! You are beyond dead! If he just hits you once, it doesn't make any fucking sense! I don't know! I don't know what fucking makes this thing work! No continues left, lovely. Oh, 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 my password, so I can go back. <sighs> can we do it this time? Probably not. I don't know. Alright, here we go. Yes! Finally! God damn it! <sighs> it's such a difficult boss battle. I beat it before, and it was still a pain in the butt. <sighs> Toontown, is Toontown is saved and remains in the hands of its rightful owners. The Toons. The end. Yeah, that is... A little, you know, something a little better, you know, a picture, a nice uh, graphic of uh, Jessica Rabbit's boobs or something, you know. Would have went all the way into making that boss battle actually worth it. But uh, no, we don't quite get that. I still think it's a very underrated game. The best of the LJN lineup, if you ask me personally. A uh, very unique game, especially for the NES. Extraordinarily unique, and I love unique games. Hope everybody enjoyed this um, uh, playthrough. I don't know. Um, let's play. I don't know. Uh, usually Let's Plays involve never um, editing anything, but uh, I'm sorry. If I can't watch it, then I'm not going to subject anybody anybody else watching it. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed everything, despite the uh, edits here and there. And uh, uh, check out some other Let's Plays, too. I don't know. I've, I'm sure I've got a few of them anyway. <laughs> check them out on the end screen there. I hope you all will. I hope, I'll, I hope I'll see you all later. Goodbye.